Um, talk to me about Mengji. Is that Mengji? That's how you pronounce your name. It's actually Meng Chi. And, and it has tone to it. It's Meng Chi. Meng Chi. Meng Chi. Okay. All right. Well, I've, I've been trying my best. Um, Meng Chi. Okay. Yep. Yep. Meng Chi. All right. So talk to me about who she is. Why you fell in love with her? Uh, well, she's a very dedicated person. Uh, she's a hard worker, and I really like that. That's important to me. And she's really, um, she's very, very detail-oriented. And that's something that um, I honestly didn't see a lot in a lot of people, and really a lot of girls as well. But she was, you know, she's a mechanical engineer with me, or uh, same as I am. And uh, that was something that was pretty important to me too, because uh, um, I really kind of always thought that I'd have sort of my own business and maybe have a car shop or something. And I thought that she would be helpful in that. I thought that she would be a part of that. And I told her that uh, whenever we first started dating. And I think that she kind of liked the idea of it. She, she really likes the idea of um, working hard and making money. So uh, I just, there was a lot of stuff about her that really made me feel like that she was just a, a great person to have around. Um, so talk to me about um, the baby, kind of like what that was like for her yeah so first off she was really tough about everything she uh, you know she she carried her baby around for nine months and didn't complain about it and she, she just took everything like you know it, it was gonna happen there's there's really nothing to, to change it so she just went along with it and that was something that really impressed me as well uh, she, you know she was a great mother the whole way and um, even the night that uh, that I, that I took her to the hospital, like the song that, that I first met her was playing uh, when I first met her, and uh, it was just an amazing night, and um, yeah, yeah, Anna came out, and she was, you know, she held her for the first time, and it was, it was just a really amazing feeling, and ever since then, she's been a great mom, like the best mom ever, and she takes care of Anna like, I don't know, like, like nothing I, I ever knew would happen, and uh, yeah, it, it amazes me, because especially now, uh, you know, sometimes when I when I take care of Anna by myself, it's it's hard. It's uh, it's it's really kind of uh, kind of stressful and exhausting. And it I just thought about how she did it every day, and I was just I'm just amazed at how she did that. But she was a tough girl, and I really uh, yeah I really miss her, and I need her back. So. <laughs> uh. Talk to me about that night that she left. Like, what was that? Was there anything unusual? Like, was she just normal? Is this kind of, does it kind of, are you surprised? Like, just talk to me about that. I'm, I am surprised. Uh, we were kind of growing distant in the past few months, and especially uh, uh, we went to Carthage uh, for, for an internship over the summer, and, you know, I, I don't know how she liked that, uh, that small town life very much, but um, she always kind of stayed inside by herself anyway, and um, I encouraged her to go outside and, meet people and do stuff with Anna and even go out with me whenever I was home and she just never really wanted to do that kind of stuff which I don't blame her for it but I was you know that was kind of weird to me that she didn't want to go outside a whole lot um, but yeah she, she I guess she was just always kind of a reserved person and um, she, sometimes she didn't talk to me a lot about what was going on in her life and but I always tried to open up to her and I always tried to get her to open up to me. I gave her every opportunity that I could. And so, yeah, it's just right now it's really confusing. Everything is very, very cloudy. I just don't know what's going on. I don't know what to think. I'm really confused and I just think that she is too. And I don't know, I, I think she'll come back, but I just don't know. I don't know where she's been. I, I hope she's safe. And. How do you feel knowing that she left behind like her passport and everything? And if you don't mind, I'm going to turn on this light. You don't have to look at it. It's going to be really bright. Okay. Or wait. So, no, and I can't because there, is, there are no batteries. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that, is, that is fine. Do you need batteries? Oh, no. This is not like a regular like battery type thing. Okay. So yeah. We'll be fine. Okay. I can always brighten this up. Yeah, but it's okay. good. Okay. Um, so, what do you think about the fact that she left behind her wallet and everything? I mean, uh, her, not her wallet, her passport and her phone. So that stuff is very weird to me. Um, I know she was talking to somebody else um, on the side, and I didn't know that until after she had left. But uh, I, you know, whatever, whatever she's doing, I just hope she's safe. 
and I really hope that she can, you know, find herself and come back to me and Anna, and we can just have a big long talk, and that's all we need. Um, but we can work things out. Um, I think she's she's just confused and maybe scared, and I don't know if she felt alone, but I just really want her to come back, and it it does worry me um, that she doesn't have any of that stuff. I I just really, yeah, I just hope that she's safe. I hope that she's with, at least with somebody who, who cares for her, you know, enough to keep her safe. And um, Now, a lot of people have been asking, like, from what we got from the police support, you reported her missing at 5.45. Yeah. Any reason, maybe because you thought that she, you know, like, it wasn't unusual for her to leave. Any reason why from when you realized that she was gone until 5.45 that you called? You know, like, was it just, did you just think that she would come back? Maybe she went out for some space? Yeah, I really didn't know where she could have gone. Um, she was supposed to meet somebody in the morning, and I didn't know who else she was going to meet, what else she was going to do. It was really weird that she didn't take her phone and everything like that, but I don't know, all that stuff. So, so of course, I wasn't able to contact her, and even though I tried at the end of the night, but I just don't know. I really don't know. Um, um, now, as far as her family, how's her family doing? You saw them today. Uh, her her mom and dad, you mean? Or, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they. I'm sure her family is just as scared as, and you know, scared and worried as I am, and as my mom is, and my family. And I totally understand that they're they're sad and they're angry, and so am I. And you know, I wish I could just go out and be interrogating people all day and all night, but. I think that's something that, you know, the cops are going to do, and I'm, I'm, you know, I think they're doing it really well. They're going to find her, I know, so. You said anger. Where does that anger come from, do you think? I don't know. Just just the fact that she's missing and that nobody knows anything. It's just the, the absence of knowledge really kind of makes you, it just makes you want to know, and there's just no way to know. <laughs> it's if, just. If you had anything, if she's watching this, what do you want her to know? Uh, if she's watching, I, I want her to know that I love her and that Anna loves her too. Anna needs to see her mom. She, she really needs to see her mom. And Anna's growing up really well, and she's learning to wave, and she's learning to talk. So I think, I think she'd be really happy if she came back here. And, and I, I can try and be a better husband. I, I don't know if I... If I didn't talk enough to her, give her enough hugs or what, but I'll give her ten times as much as what I did before. So. Now, as far as you saying that she was distant in maybe the last few months, was she like that when you met her, or was that just a change? That was just a change, and it I don't know where it came from, really. Um, she kind of started being distant at the beginning of the summer. I, You know, I'd give her kisses, and I'd give her hugs, and she wouldn't kiss me back, and she wouldn't hug me back, and she didn't want to hold my hand and stuff, but... You know, I, I think she kind of tried to sometimes. I don't know if she was just too busy or, or worried about whatever, worried about Anna, and but I don't know why she didn't want to keep keep love alive with me. I, I tried, but uh, yeah, I, I really don't know where any of that came from. And um, I think she was just confused, and I, I am too. And I think if we talked, though, we could we could really work stuff out. Do you think, uh, do you have any idea as to where she'd be? I have absolutely no idea where she might be. It's just all so strange. She just disappeared. I don't know. I just really don't know. She hasn't contacted anybody. She talked to her mom, I think, probably two or three times every single day. And the fact that she hasn't heard from her really worries me. It's very surprising. I. I just, yeah. It's just hard to think about what's going on. Well, thank you so much. Continuing coverage.